Hello, my name is Brittany. I will be giving you a walkthrough of our SAGE system. This is the new system we will be using in order to do our grants. It stands for the System for Administering Grants Electronically. We'll be using this for the application, the grant agreements, and all of the progress reports and reimbursements. When you click on the home page, which can be accessed here or through our website, which has the link, but it also has a step by step guide to how to complete the application. You will see this home page. The first thing we will need to do is set yourself up with a login. You're going to click on new user. And then enter your registration information, your name, title, address. City, county, zip code, contact information, and then set yourself up with a username and password. Once you click save, you will wait to receive an email that your registration has been approved. All employees who will be signing your grant package will need to be registered in SAGE. So to do that, once you've been approved, you will log in with your credentials. And then on your home page, you will click on My Organization. And then you will click on Organization Members. You will be brought to this page where you will click Add Members. And then you will have an option to search for members or add a new member. We will click on new member. And then you'll enter your organization members information and also assign them a username and password. Once you're done at the top, click save and add to organization. Once all of your members have been added, you can now start the application process. In order to do that from your home page, which you can get back to by clicking my home at the top, you can see that you have an option here for view available opportunities. You're going to click on view opportunities. Here you will see all of the grants that DEP has in SAGE. We want to filter for the pays to plug in fast charger grant. You will see there's filter criteria at the top. We want to choose a drop down for my opportunities and click it pays to plug in 2022 fast charger and then hit filter. This will bring up a program description, which you can read. And then at the bottom, there are two options. You can choose apply now or not interested. We're going to choose apply now. Here you will now be on your Sage dashboard. You will see your application name up here and the application snapshot down here. The application snapshot is blank for right now, um, but once you start putting information into your project information form, that will populate. We are going to work on starting to fill out our application forms. In order to do that, you will see a menu here in the white space. We're going to hover over forms and click on applicant information. On the applicant information page, we need you to enter all of the requested information. This is where you will choose drop downs for people and the roles that you have them. That's why they need to be registered in Sage so that, that that way they populate in the drop down. If you have any questions about what these roles are responsible for, there are tooltips in the blue question marks next to the name. You can hover over the tooltip and it will give you a description of what that person's responsibilities will be. We also need some accounting information and some insurance information. Once you are done, please click save at the top. If there's any errors that the system identifies, they will be displayed at the top of the page. Please go back and fix the errors and then click save next. This will now bring you to the project information page where we will get the specific information about your project. We need you to enter the proposed charging station's location. That's the street address up here. For primary project category, please choose community. Then you will select whether the chargers will be used exclusively by the public. Be warned that an answer of no will result in a rejected application. Please select whether the location will be on government owned property and then identify the primary type of location. This is a drop down. You can choose one of the options. The next step is to download the site verification form. This button is a link in Sage. You will download it and then have the property owner fill it out. This is to verify that the property owner is OK with you installing charging stations for five years on their property. Please now 
submit your three charging station quotes. Please ensure that they are three comparable quotes from three different vendors. If you are utilizing a cooperative purchasing agreement, then you can just upload the one. And then please select whether your project is also participating in a utility charging infrastructure incentive program. This box is where we will put the information about the charging stations to be installed. The drop down will let you identify whether it's a single port or a dual port. Then please enter the make, model, and the kilowatts associated with the station. To add multiple lines, please click on the plus sign to the left of the chart. The last step is to enter the network provider that the charging stations will be using, and then click Save at the top of the page. If there are any errors the system identifies, they will be displayed at the top of the page. Please go back and fix the errors and then click Save Next. This will bring you to the certification checklist. We need the grant executor to read through the items and mark the checkbox next to them to certify. This form must be checked and signed at the bottom by the person designated as the grant executor. In order to sign, the grant executor needs to click Save and this will effectively sign it. If any errors pop up, please go back and fix them and then click Save Next. You are now in the Deadlines Acknowledgement form, which identifies all of the deadlines associated with our program. Please read through the items and have the grant executor mark the checkbox next to them to certify. When completed, please hit the Save button to sign. If any errors pop up, please go back and fix the errors and then click Save Next. We are done filling out the forms, so now we want to submit our application you will see that there is an option for status changes in this menu bar in the white space. Please hover over it and you will see two options, application submitted or cancel application. We want to submit the application, so we will choose apply status. This will bring you to the application agreement page. You can identify any notes about the status change here or you can enter any information that you want us to know, uh, any unique attributes of your program, in this box. Once you are done, please click I agree. This will transmit your application to us and we will be in touch if we have any questions or if we would like to move forward with the project. We will be doing the grant agreements in SAGE as well as progress reports and expenditure reports. All of the instructions for how to use SAGE in, for each part of the program are on our website. Thank you for your time.